Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the suffixes with and without in Turkish language. And uh, I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, before going through the lesson, uh, make sure that after subscription, uh, you have uh, just uh, press the bell icon. So you would um, be notified whenever I put a new video because I don't do it regularly. I do it randomly. So you need to be notified. Um, okay, let's go through the lessons. The suffixes are with and without. Here we have uh, the suffix of l in four different forms for the meaning of l. Uh, for the meaning of with when it comes to uh, joining an adjective or a noun. And we have the suffix of sis in four different shapes and uh, it means without. And both of them uh, join nouns and adjectives. Okay, here we have with. When we come to an adjective or a noun that um, has a and u sound at the uh, last syllable, we have the suffix l. And if we end up with e and e, we have the suffix li. If in the last syllable of the verb, uh, sorry, word, um, we have o and u. We're going to have the suffix lu. And if we end up with ö and u, we are going to have the suffix lu. For saying without, we use sız. When we come to uh, a and u, and if we have a and e in the last syllable, we have the suffix sis. If we have o and u in the last syllable, we have the suffix sus. And if we end up with u and u sound, we have sus. So once again, we have l, li, lu, and lu. We have sus, sis, sus, and sus. Now let's go to the examples. You will understand them better. Maybe you already know some of these words. Buzlu, buzlu means with eyes. Bussus, bussus, without eyes. Tuzlu, tuzlu, it means salty, which literally it means with salt. Tuzsuz, tuzsuz, it means without salt. Mutlu, Mutlu. Mut means happiness, so mutlu means happy. Mutsuz. Mutsuz. And mutsuz means sad, because literally it means without happiness. Kollu. Kollu. It means with sleeve. Kolsuz. Kolsuz. It means without sleeves. Şekerli. Şekerli. It means with sugar. Şekersiz. Şekersiz. It means without sugar. Ünlü. Ünlü. It means famous. With fame, actually. Ünsüz. Ünsüz. That means... Fameless. Okay, 
Next, we have yakalı. Yakalı means with color, like color. It's about clothes, you know. Yakasız. Yakasız. And that means without color. Okay. So, as you see, we have this sus, sis, sus, and sus examples here. Okay. Next, we have korkulu. Korkulu means fearful, like something like korkulu. Not fearful. By fearful, I mean like something scary. Okay, full of fear, something scary. They may say korkulu rüya. That means um, a terrible, scary dream. That's nightmare. Korkusuz. Korkusuz. That means fearless. That means brave. Sulu. Sulu means with water or juicy. Susus. Susus. It means without water or thirsty. Vefalu. Vefalu. It means loyal. Vefasus. Vefasus. That means unloyal. Paralı. Paralı. It means with money. Usually it means something that you have to pay for it. Parasus. Parasus. It means without money. This means poor. Kültürlü. Kültürlü. It means with culture, like somebody very cultured or a city full of cultured people. Kültürsüz. Kültürsüz. It means without culture. That means something like inferior. Illiterate, let's say. Okay, bilgili. Bilgili. Bilgi means information, knowledge. So, bilgili means well informed or knowledgeable. Bilgisiz. Bilgisiz. That means without information or somebody who doesn't know something about what you want to know. İlgili. İlgili. İlgi means a, um, interest, kind of connection, like, like ability. Um, interested, ilgili means interested or related. Okay, that's why I said connection. Related. You may see um, the verb ilgili in the form that it, it will mean uh, related or associated so ilgisiz ilgisiz that means reluctant somebody who is not interested okay we have these examples these are some daily examples that really do not have the exact opposites as i um mentioned in the previous pages so we have evli evli evli means married barklı barklı barklı means uh, married to uh yeah barking no i don't think so uh so but these two words are usually used together like evli barklı that that means uh, somebody who's married, their children, and who has a house and a life and a family. So these two words are used both together to mean like married and responsible and so on. So whatever a married person should be. Um, sanli banli. Sanli banli. It means friendly. Uh, in a way that when people use um singular verbs 
for intimate relations, intimate talks, or any friendly talk. So they call it sanlebande. Actually, this expression is not formal. Sizli bizli. Sizli bizli. Sizli bizli means formal, but uh, it's an informal expression to show that uh, one is uh, using plural forms of, you know, sentences uh, to uh, maintain the formality of the conversation. So sizli bizli itself is not a formal um, expression, but like if you want to say that this person is like formal to me, they say like sizli uh, bizli konuşuyor. It means he's talking formal to me. Pahalı, pahalı. That is expensive. Paha means value, so pahalı means expensive. Arsız, arsız. Arsis means shameless, but R doesn't mean shame exactly. R is a kind of, how can I say? It's a kind of feeling that you have or you should have to uh, keep your formal face or a respected face. So when somebody's arses, he is like shameless. It's not any. Uh, formality or politeness around this person. Okay, dinsiz imansız. You may uh, have these two words um, and it is used a lot. Dinsiz means without religion, imansız means without faith. So we have without religion and without faith, like faithless. Ücretli, ücretsiz. Ücretli means with fee, like you have to pay. Ücretsiz means free, means without fee, without any payment. Okay. We have some other examples, like we have charisis. Uh, it means without solution or somebody who doesn't know what to do. Somebody who's in a problem and doesn't have any clue what, about um, what he wants to do. Like I told you, these uh, words do not have the exact opposite with the opposite suffix, actually. Like we don't, we don't have charity or whatever. Okay. Sessis. Sessis. Sessis means silent, like without noise. Actually, ölümlü, ölümlü, ölümlü means fatal or mortal. Um, it means both of them. Ölüm means death, so ölümlü means something with death. Kapalı, kapalı, it means closed. And um, actually, kapak means cover. Kapalı means something that has a cover. So they also use it for um, women with Islamic dresses. Like they don't mean closed, they, they mean like covered. Kilolo. Kilolo. That means fat with kilos, with extra weight. Dikkatli. Dikkatli. It means careful. Dikkat means care, attention, awareness. And dikkatli means careful. Okay, tatlı. Tatlı. Tat means taste. Tatlı means sweet. Tatsız means tatsız means tasteless. Tasteless. Okay. Um, here we came to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, please give some thumbs up and I'll see you in the next videos. Do not hesitate to leave comments and ask questions. I will answer them as soon as possible. Good luck.